Good evening. Uh, in this series, we're going to look at doing camera moves and um, using the camera in Animate Pro and uh, basically in Toon Boom software. But um, I'll be using Animate Pro, uh, but I'm going to try to avoid anything that, that is exclusive to Animate Pro, any of the high end kind of like the network view and stuff like that. Because um, being a beginner series, um, it'd be nice if Animate users could follow along. So I'm not going to do anything too advanced. Um, <clears throat> just going to do it for for beginners for now and then we'll do more advanced series later on. Uh, so what I've got here is a, um, I've prepared a scene, a very simple scene. These are just um, rough elements that I've drawn um, to make up a, a fairly standard uh, background. And what I've got is uh, foreground elements you can see in the timeline, you might not be able to see them all in the, <clears throat> actually you can see them all in the in the view but I'll turn off the camera mask so you can see outside but I've got um, uh, a sky layer in the back hills one and two and one two three foreground elements um, <clears throat> which I've called FGE in the timeline now the way to add a camera to your scene because you need to do that you need to add the camera to your scene it, it's not there already um, even though you've got a camera view you, if you want to start moving the camera around, you have to actually add a camera. So I'm going to do that now by just clicking on the little plus button in the timeline, and I'll choose camera. And there we have a camera in the scene. Now this this camera at the moment cannot be moved around um, because it's it's uh, it needs a peg layer. And if you've watched the earlier um, series, the the other stuff, you'll know how to add a peg layer and add a movement add movement to something um, so we're going to add a peg to this um, for now you can just see that without the peg layer I can move the thing around uh, but it's it's not creating keyframes in the timeline so I'm going to add a a peg to that so I select the camera in the timeline and then I click the add peg um, button um, or I can go to here the plus sign again and use peg but I'll just click the add, click the add peg button and now I have a peg layer which as you may know it probably do it's a movement layer so I can now move this camera around the scene <clears throat> now first of all before I do that I'm gonna um, just zoom out on the workspace so you can see where everything is I'll turn on the camera mask okay so there's my that's what's going to be on screen that's what is in my scene there but if I turn off the camera mask you can see I've overdrawn all these elements so it gives me a lot of freedom to move the camera around if I had just cut off the trees at, at the top of the screen and and the bushes at the bottom cut them off at the bottom of the screen I wouldn't have the freedom to move the camera up or down so if you do have uh, if, if you are planning camera moves for your scenes make sure you draw your elements way off screen or, or far enough off screen that you've got the freedom to move the camera around. So now um, with the animation tools uh, up here I'm going to start, uh, I'll click on the peg layer and I'm going to start moving the camera around. Um, once again if you don't have these tools up here you can right click uh, on this this blank section up here and just choose advanced animation. Uh, we want the move tool for now. So <clears throat> When I start moving this around, I'll have the animate button on and I'll just move the camera down to here. Let's say we want to start low and then by the end of the scene um, we want to pan up. So I'll just scroll up and when we play that, there we go. That's a very simple pan. Now, there's no depth to this whatsoever. This is just as if you're standing still with a camera and you're holding it and you're just looking up to the up and down the scene there's no depth shown with the elements and what is a really nice effect and and is usually preferable with a camera move like this is to um, is to have the camera rather than tilt up and down looking from the sky down to the the ground um, is to actually move up and down so it goes you know you've got you've got the elements here and then you screen <clears throat> so we're going to do that and the way to do that is to put some distance between these uh, these elements and 
with this camera move, um, if I had put distance between these elements, and you'll see how to do that in a minute, um, this uh, this camera move would all be um, would be pretty much finished, and it would have all the depth in it. It would look awesome. So I'm going to undo the camera, remove the camera from the scene, boop, and I'm going to show you how to add <clears throat> the space between the elements that you want. Um, I'll do that in the next video. So we'll see you in a sec.